you think of a superhero story, my uh, nemesis or my enemy is, is, is this idea that relationships are a soft skill and that you can be indifferent uh, about your relationships. Because here's what we've proven in year 14 of this business, that relationships and an intentional focus on those relationships can accelerate your ability to get results. So think about a client working with me, scenario A, and not working with me, scenario B. If I can help them understand how to be more disciplined, how to identify, how to nurture, how to capitalize the right relationships to launch that product in three months instead of six or nine, what's the value of getting that product to market? If I can help them identify and attract great talent, what's the value of that talent contributing to the company? If I can help them with one idea to really innovate the way they go to market, or the way they launch a product, or the way they launch a service, What's the value of that? There's a reason I've been working with KPMG, for example, as a client for over 10 years now, because that national partner gets it and values it and really sees relationships as a great way for their team to set themselves apart from other equally competent and capable professional service providers. Uh, I'm on my eighth project with a unique client, manufacturing, global manufacturing client, just over the last two years. Why would they do that? Think about why do you keep working with some people several times? It's because you get value, uh, you feel like you're better off with them involved in your work, and you get a definitive return on that invested time, effort, and capital. I love visionary leaders. Uh, I love working with executives who understand and Marshall Goldsmith is one of my favorite authors and one of his books, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. I love working with executives who understand that status quo won't suffice and they're going to have to change themselves, change their team, change their organization. And as such, they're going to have to challenge that status quo. And I've become in many ways an enabler of their efforts. I'm a big believer of, of being that advisor and perhaps the behind the scenes campaign maybe manager or, or somebody who, I, I don't need to be in the spotlight, I don't need to hear myself talk. My job is to put my clients on a pedestal. My job is to help them get on that podium, is to really help them shine. And that's really what, I, what I'm passionate about, is helping those visionary leaders think and lead very differently.